Right? Two and a quarter in the back and not a two and a half. Two and a half. Did two. Thank you, I had three and a half. They said, hi, are you here for the auction? And I said, yes, I am. And they said, are you here to be a bidder? And I said, well, yes, I am. I'm sold $50 in a number seven feet. An environmentalist threw a controversial oil and gas lease auction into turmoil today. Well, Tim DeChristopher says he's willing to go to jail, and it's possible that's where he'll wind up. I think it's fair to say you are unrepentant. Yes, I, th I think that would be fair to say. This is the formal charges against me. United States of America versus Tim DeChristopher. Do you feel outnumbered? A little bit. <laughs> 300 million to one. When you take a courageous action that's based in heart and courage, as Tim did, you'll have people stand with you and beside you and, and follow in your footsteps. This is not the first time that we've had 10,000 people in one room reminding us that we are not alone. 12 citizens like you or I ought to be able to hear what the evidence is and then they make the decision as to whether or not he committed a violation of law or the government did at the time. To see this land uh, in this view and to know there's not going to be an oil rig in the way, there's not going to be a road cut right through the middle of it, there's no way that I could ever regret what I did. Civil disobedience is forever linked not to living one's principles, but being willing to suffer for those principles. When they close that door behind you, they don't open up until they decide to let you go. The way the environmental movement has been, it's like a football game. And our team is getting slaughtered. The refs have been paid off, and the, the other side is playing with dirty tricks. And so it's no longer acceptable for us to stay in the stands. It's time to rush the field. And it's time to stop the game. Yeah.